Again, this morning, great, the, the earliest composition of the Book of Common Prayer. And we begin in procession after the choir, the children of God we play will follow. All of you are invited to join in the procession. All may, none must, but you are to join in that procession of the great litany which begins the service. Sweat by thy cross and passion, 
by thy precious death and burial, by thy glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we sinners do beseech thee to hear us, O Lord God, and that it may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to illumine all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to bless and keep all thy people. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to send forth laborers into thy harvest and to draw all mankind into thy kingdom. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to give to all people increase of grace to hear and receive thy word and to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee so to rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, and all others in authority, that they may do justice and love mercy and walk in the ways of truth. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to make wars to cease in all the world, to give to all nations unity, peace, and concord, and to bestow freedom upon all peoples. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives, the homeless and the hungry, and all who are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord. That it may please thee to inspire us in our several callings, to do the work which thou givest us to do with singleness of heart as thy servants and for the common good. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to preserve all who are in danger by reason of their labor or their travel. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to preserve and provide for all women in childbirth, young children and orphans, the widowed, and all whose homes are broken or torn by strife. We beseech thee to bring us to the Lord. That it may please thee to visit the lonely, to strengthen all who suffer in mind, body, and spirit, and to comfort with thy presence those who are failing and infirm. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to have mercy upon all mankind. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord. That it may please thee to strengthen such as do stand, to comfort and help the weak-hearted, to raise up those who fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee 
to grant to all the faithful departed eternal life and peace. We seek thee to hear us, the Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy God of Abraham and Sarah, and all the patriarchs of old, you are our creator too. Your love is revealed to us in Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Son of David. Help us in preparing to celebrate his birth, to make our hearts ready for your Holy Spirit and to make her home among us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Lord Jesus, light of the world, born in David's city of Bethlehem, born like him to be a king, be born in our hearts this Christmas tide, be king of our lives today. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and bless be God's kingdom, now and forever. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the light immortal. 
Through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood, and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to all your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down. The mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God beside you, who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. But you were angry, and we sinned. Because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We've all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of, your, of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our inequity. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O oh Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Thanks be to God. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock. Shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, Stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord, O God of hosts, how long will you be angered despite the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbors and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Let your hand be upon the one of your right hand, the Son of Man you have made so strong for yourself. And so will we never turn away from you. <coughs> Give us life that we may call upon your name. Restore us, <coughs> O Lord, your God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given to you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, In those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. 
May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. And the seasons go round and round, the painted ponies go up and down. We're caught upon the carousel of time. Joni Mitchell, the Canadian folk singer, sang, sang in our, one of my favorite folk songs. We can't return, we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round in the circle game. So she sings, but we need the Irish poet, William Butler Yeats, to move beyond the circle game into Advent. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. The blood-tinned dot tide is loosed, and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. And what rough beast, its hour come at last, slouches toward Bethlehem to be born? Things fall apart before they come together. The powers in heaven are shaken, says both Isaiah and Mark. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. We sing in Handel's Messiah, awesome deeds we do not expect, says the prophet. John the Baptist is about to come, not exactly slouching, but ambling, rumbling onto stage. We're between the acts, the house lights dim, rumblings in the wings precede God's next appearance. Ruth is moving to a new position at Good Samaritan Hospital. A new rector will come here. Next year brings local and national elections with our democracy at stake. Candidates are rumbling in the wings. Advent draws attention to the upheavals of the season. What's breaking through? The sun darkens, the moon gives no light, the powers in the heavens shake. These are images of apocalypse, which we know in our day. Remember Apocalypse Now, the film about Vietnam. Apocalypse means uncover, apo cover, uncover. Apocalypse breaks through, uncovers to reveal the old ways of doing things are challenged. A new vision emerges of how to exercise power and dominion, of who is the Lord of history, who is the King of glory, we sing in Handel's Messiah. No longer Caesar in Rome, no longer the Super Bowl victor. Today's gospel concludes, look for the big the green shoot, the new light trying to emerge. John the Baptist emerges dressed in camel's hair to open the way, a somewhat apocalyptic figure in his own right. Then Mary, receiving her birth, perplexed and trembling at first, then embracing the possibilities. She draws shepherds, cows and the sheep at the stable, and finally the kings who go home a different way. The greatest story ever told. Welcome to Advent. Advent assures us that God is present. Emmanuel, God with us, not over us, with us, present in the upheavals of the season, in the disorientation, the suffering, the yearning to new birth. I've been reading the memoir of a woman I know, finished it over Thanksgiving, and she speaks for me of the darkness in which I have at times found myself. Perhaps she speaks for you too. Joan Richards is a scientist and mathematician, an organized person. Her second child was in the midst of two years of severe seizures, and she writes, I felt lost. 
I was mourning the breakup of my world. My understanding was coming apart at the seams. Ever since Ned had his seizures, I had tried to adhere to the principles of my upbringing and education to stay calm and manage my life with Ned according to my rational and controlled principles. But behind my proceedings, I was lost. I was alone in a strange world I did not understand. My manners were in place. My brain functioned, but my confidence had deserted me. I gazed through tears at the desk where I was supposed to work. She goes on to describe the nurses, the neighbors, the hospital, the colleagues who stood by her. Things fall apart. The powers in our heavens will be shaken, and our primary, sometimes agonizing, call is wait. Wait in full attention. Be fully present and attentive. Ask for help. Ask, seek, knock. Don't just press relentlessly forward. Stop. Ask, how do I open a way for someone to come to me? How do I open a way for companionship, for communion? Ruth will be taking a job in the admissions department of the ER, the emergency room at Good Samaritan Hospital. She will be living our Advent call. Ruth, in your eight-hour shifts, Take a break once in a while. Ask for help. Actually, she'll be trained as part of a team. Each of us this Advent is attending to part of our world that is ending, that is turning over. And the Holy One is moving toward us with new life. As the world is speeding up, ask how can I slow down? Our faith is not that we have faith. Our faith is not that we possess it or manufacture it on our own. Our faith is that God has faith in us, is moving toward me even when the door is shut, finds me when I am lost, finds me when I am a lost sheep. Church is a place to come when you've lost your faith. I may be discouraged or overwhelmed or depressed. Church is a place to be found. Put one foot in front of the other, one hand out. Join the ER team and give thanks that lots of other people are doing the same. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel through Christ our Lord. Let us stand and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have 
and no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. People of God, come let us walk in the light of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Teach us your ways, O God, that we may walk in your path. Wake from sleep, O God, your church. Let us lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as salvation draws ever near. Teach us your ways, O God. Wake from sleep, O God, this nation. May we beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks. May we learn war no more. Teach us your ways, O God. That we may walk in your paths. Wake from sleep, O God, your creation. May the mountains rise to meet you and the crops of the fields burst forth in praise. Teach us your ways, O God. That we may walk in your paths. Wake from sleep, O God, this city. May clear our paths that we may walk in your light. Teach us your ways, O God. That we may walk in your paths. Wake from sleep, O God, those in pain and sadness. May all those waiting for healing find your salvation is near. <coughs> Teach us your ways, O God. O oh, Holy One, you have called us into a goodly fellowship of faith. Give your spirit of discernment to our diocese, search committee, and vestry, that they may bring forth a priest to serve and inspire our parish in our mission for years to come. Through Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to discern your will and the strength to do it through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you. Opposing your will in our lives, we have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that has displaced us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
While others are coming forward, I have one note of thanksgiving for the huge tubs of kitchen and household equipment that went to two refugee families this week. We collected them here. Would they could have been raised, but they've already gone on. Our tubs overflowing, and uh, the refugee families are grateful. Who would like to next? The Advent study with the adult head uh, starts today with the first chapter. You don't have to have read the book. Please come in the lounge at 10, no, time, noon, noon, yes. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, a few announcements today. Our children's choir is rehearsing after the service uh, down in the Ed Wing. We'll try to start around noon. Next week, we'll wait until after uh, the St. Nicholas Day festivities, probably starting rehearsal around 1220 and then going for a half an hour afterwards. So parents, just be aware. Next week, we have a very full musical Sunday uh, in the life of our church. We'll have some special music at our 1030 worship next week uh, with our friend Stephen Evans Renteria singing the first two movements of Handel's Messiah uh, at the prelude. So if you want to hear that, be sure you come a little early to hear him. And then the uh, Sanctuary Choir will sing the fourth movement of the Messiah. So we've got lots of, of Handel's Messiah next week then. Uh, at 3 o'clock, we have our traditional beloved service of nine lessons and carols with uh, full choir and organ. We'll have nine different choral settings that we'll sing for you, and then there will be uh, about as many sing-along carols as well. So do come next Sunday at 3 o'clock for that. Um, then, there's more. Uh, that evening, as with every other Sunday evening, we'll have Sun Compline right here at 7 o'clock. As, as, and as we enter this time of Advent, I encourage you to give it a try. Come and sit in the quiet, the candlelight, the darkness, hear the ancient music, uh, and let it guide you in waiting uh, for the birth of Christ to come. Sun Compline at 7 p.m. Lastly, uh, as you look towards the next parts in your bulletin, you'll see that we're not singing uh, the doxology that we usually sing. For the season of Advent, we're changing to People Look East, which is a familiar tune, uh, and we'll sing it uh, the four Sundays of Advent, returning to that beloved doxology on Christmas. Just a quick note. The ECW Holiday Potluck Luncheon is a week from this Tuesday, and everyone is welcome. Thank you. Well, on behalf of the search committee, I can tell you that our message in the past has been, we're almost there, we're almost there. Today I can tell you, we're there. We have found two candidates and passed their names on to the vestry. So we're really excited. They're two excellent candidates. We've been working in confidentiality because these uh, pastors have not told their parishes, and so that's why the name, that's why the process is confidential. Um, <laughs> how about that? Um, the vestry, I know, is very busy um, scheduling meetings with the candidates, and so the vestry will take it from here. The baton has been passed, and so uh, we will have a new rector soon. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Bill, for this. This is just great. Love hunching over. So yes, you heard correctly. Next Sunday is St. Nicholas Day. So kids, make sure you come to church next Sunday. Make sure you stay for coffee hour because it's going to be a lot of fun. I hate to tell Zachary this, but it is going to take more than 20 minutes. <laughs> um, we are going to hear from St. Nicholas. He's gonna tell us stories and come visit us. We are going to fill stockings with gifts for the children at Jackson Street Youth Shelter. And we have 25 stockings to do this year. So on that note, um, there are still some stocking stuffers that need to be purchased, and there is a poster out in the foyer as you leave church. You'll notice there's about 15 um, 
cards left. So if you would take another one or two of those, purchase something and bring it back to the office this week or no later than next Sunday so we can get it into the stockings, we would really appreciate that and the, the youth would appreciate it also. It'll be a great time, so make sure that you're here. Also today, our Christmas tree is up in the parish hall to make everybody happy this year. And uh, the ornaments are there, but it's not decorated yet. So please put a couple ornaments on the tree to get it festive and, and make the parish hall look nice. Thank you so much. Bring offerings, give thanks, and come into the Lord's courts with praise. Stand.
the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. a good and a joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death, and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world. We may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate in the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Savior Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, and we await his coming to glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ, and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your son in his sacrifice, that he may be, we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, bring all things in completion in your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. 
by Christ and with Christ and in Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we share in one bread. People of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the sacrament of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. May the blessing of the God of Abraham and Sarah, of Jesus Christ, born of our sister Mary and the Holy Spirit, who moves through all creation, be with you now and always. Amen.
love and serve the Lord. Amen.